guys and welcome back to another video I just want to kind of take you on my new favorite gravel ride it's about three hours and yeah it's a new favorite it's becoming a classic and I'm gonna take you along for the ride Ooh. ow got a stick in my head yeah we've not had the best weather recently and the storms have been very very frequent so there's a lot of trees down there's a lot of rain ironically today is probably the better day we've had in the past couple of weeks and it's still raining and cold on to route 43 the cycle path heading towards Oslovera now I'm gonna go up the valley onto the top of the hill and then up towards San Helen which I'll give you more information about when I get there climb is done um, there's kind of three main climbs the next two are quite long um, I think one is about eight and a half K but the one before that is maybe 4k So I've made it to the base of the second big hill of the day. This is the first long one. And I've just entered Crinant Forest, which is a really nice woodland, a lot of gravel, a lot of fire roads, and actually really well signposted, which is unusual. Uh, they've put a lot of effort into making this place uh, really nice. Um, just down the road that way, talking about things that have been uh, sort of done up, is Kevin Coyd Colliery Museum. So this is probably only 200 meters back down the road and you find yourself at the base of Crinant Forest. <laughs> When you're up here, make sure you take a trip to the frog pond. Some really interesting wildlife, including some giant frogs. Let me show you what I mean. Now, I'm just by the frog pond, and I'm very lucky to have spotted one of the giant frogs. Take a look at it. Wow. It's one of the uh, wonders of uh, the Crowland Forest. Mole. <laughs> Well then, here we are. Second climb to done. About 20 minutes of climbing, right up out of Crinant. I've reached the high point now. And here we are, San Helen. So, comes along here and straight down there. If you look on the map, it's a super straight line. And as you'd imagine, that's because it's a Roman road. Now, it's one of the longer Roman roads in Wales. Um, it did originally stem from roughly around Neath, all the way right through the Brecon Beacons, it went down to Lampeter, it went way up north. Can't remember quite how far north, but yeah. And it's certainly something I'm thinking about trying to link together. See how much I can put together, thread together. Certainly would be a challenge. Um, a lot of it is now, I think, unfortunately, private land or overgrown. But there's a good chunk here up uh, up in Cranham Forest. The section here is all public byway. So you do bump into a few motorbikes, a few quad bikes sometimes, but they're always very friendly. Um, and you can go all the way down towards uh, sort of the Henrith Falls area here. You can go straight over the main road, continue up all the way up to the top of Cray Reservoir. There's one section, as I've mentioned before, um, that you can't go on. Some, some farmer's got a bee in his bonnet. But other than that, it's really, really nice and I'd really recommend it.
it out. I'm at an old colliery. And this, I presume, is the old fan house. Pumping uh, fresh air into the mine and um, keeping those boys down there relatively safe. I haven't done too much exploring of this, uh, this area. I did stumble across this once before and did a little bit of research. I can't fully remember. I think it closed in the late 20th century, as most did, to be honest. Um, up in there, I see some graffiti in there. It's pretty, pretty funky. Uh, I don't know what's in there. Gold entrance, I suppose. But as you can see then, all of this concrete is the entrance going into the hill there. Um, mm -hmm. The actual entrance is just around there. I'll take you over there and show you now. This is pretty cool. Um, I'm a big fan of the old old history and stuff, but yeah, you can see. Well, yeah, there's the entrance. You got the ra the tramways there, straight in. I'd love to uh, explore this, but it's pretty shut down. You get a lot of this. It's if it were in other places, it'd probably have been preserved and would be like a hive of uh, history and things, but. There's so many mines in South Wales that, yeah, you just get, you know, these absolute gems of history just hidden away, dumped away in a corner. And you've really got to try to, like, you know, you wouldn't find this unless you stumbled across it. And just like that, I dropped down the last little bit of the descent onto the old sort of Neath Valley Road. That's where we've come from. And this is where we're heading. More history then, so the Neath Canal, mentioned it in a few videos ago, and it's lovely, a lot of history, it's reasonably well maintained the further down you go, and this used to take all kinds of things from sort of Glenith area to Neath and on to Swansea. Whoop. What a gorgeous old bridge, eh? Look at it, check it out. I'm at the base of today's longest climb. It's eight and a half kilometers. camera oh man what jesus some uh, mountain bike trails up here because we're actually near uh avon argoid and the black run comes up and over this side which is pretty cool Behold, quite possibly the most stupid animal on earth. The sheep. Now, I don't know about you, but I personally find uh, when, when there's a gate that's specifically made for people on bikes, it's never massively helpful to put bolts in shut and then put this weird slimy grease all over it. Oh well, it's not stopping me. Over we go. <coughs> Bit of parkour. Cool. Ending up about now. 
back down to civilization, into Neath. Gonna go straight through, out the other side, and then make my way home. Just hauled my ass up the final climb to the house. So it's been a good fun ride, just over three hours in the end. Um, a lot of different uh, terrain and things to look at, so I really like that loop. It's becoming a new favorite, hence the title of the video. Um, if you wanna check out the route, I'll drop it here. And if you wanna check it out further, the link to the Strava ride is in the description. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, remember you can get 25% off Sturka for your first order with the code Bryn Davis. And that'll be the end of the video. Thanks for watching.